Hey guys, let's have a quick look at SP2016 Reverb, another plugin in a Clockworks bundle by Eventide. And the original unit was released in 1981 featuring a ROM chip that was programmable. So it was uh, probably one of the first units featuring that. So more information you could find in the user manual and of course in the Eventide website. But in this video I'm going to give you some demonstrations with guitar, with uh, piano and in a context of a mix. And of course, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below this video and let me know what you think about this uh, plugin and about this uh, bundle, of course. And I'm uploading new stuff all the time. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell so you get notification when I'm going live or when I upload new stuff. And I'll put a bunch of links in the description of this video for uh, my social media, like, you know, my Facebook uh, groups and page, Twitter and all of that. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's see SP2016 in action. This is 2016 Reverb, the SP2016. And what we have here is two types of programs. So if you click the program button here, you'll see that we have vintage and we have modern. The vintage emulates the original unit where we, with the modern, we get better quality, uh, uh, deeper bit depth here. So for each one, we have stereo room, room and plate. And so now let's go through the different uh, parameters in the user interface. We have the presets here, a lot of presets to choose from in different categories, spaces, instruments, and artists. And for each one, we have more and more presets, of course. Then we have the display here with some information. We have bypass, we have the program here to choose from, and we have levels, parameters, and EQ. In the levels, of course, we have input, output, but uh, uh, the interesting button here is the kill, which is really um, going to cut off the incoming signal and remove the dry signal from the reverb and leaving you just with a tail. So uh, you can actually appreciate what the reverb does. And of course, you can also use this in your uh, mix to just get that tail going without the original input signal. So we can try that real quick. And it it really is pronounced when you're using uh, a lot of decay. So uh, let's have longer decay. All right, I'm playing something, but nothing is going on. We're just hearing the uh, signal from the previous note. All right, so that was the kill. And now we have the mix. Of course, the, the mix control between um, all dry, all wet. Then we have pre-delay in milliseconds, one millisecond pre-delay up to uh, uh, 999 milliseconds. And then we have the decay, which is basically the reverb time. And it goes up to 100 seconds. That's quite a lot. Then we have position, which is the position in the room. This emulates uh, the space. This emulates where you are in the space. So experiment with that to get a sense of, you know, closer or uh, further back in the room. So if you're back in the room, you have more of the space. So it's really subtle. Sometimes you really have to listen closely to appreciate what that really means. And then we have the diffusion, which is the material or how the room reacts to the reflections. And then we also have a simple EQ here. We have uh, low 
uh, frequency and high frequencies. So the, the lows will just go from 50 hertz to 500 hertz. And then we have the gain. And we also have for the high, we have uh, starting from 1K up to 8K. And we, uh, we can only attenuate this. So it, it goes from zero down to minus eight. So uh, again, this will help you shape and tame the reverb. Very, very cool. So th that is pretty much it. And what is left here is just to experiment and let you listen to, um, you know, to the reverb, how it sounds. I'm using the key suite here. This is Model D by UVI. Check my channel for uh, a review of this one and demo. And uh, I'll put the link in the description of this video if you want to uh, hear and learn more about this plugin. So yeah, let's uh, let's just experiment just, you know, with simple piano because it, it's really easy to appreciate the reverb with simple sounds. Right, now let's try some guitar. Uh, so I recorded just a, a simple piece of guitar here. Let's listen with and without. I'm going to close this one and then uh, we'll really appreciate how the reverb sounds on just simple guitar. Cool, now let's try the reverb in a mix with some vocals and just listen to how it sounds there.
All right, so this is, uh, you know, a simple mix. We have some vocals, we have some uh, some drums, drum beat, then we have some guitars and uh, and background uh, vocals, of course. So you already had a chance to appreciate what this plugin can do for the vocals. Very very cool. So it it really is amazing to see how the position affects the overall sound how it is getting us you know more intimate or further away from the vocal let's try that again so i'm going to back up here and let's listen again just for the vocals i know you're broken i know you're giving up and yeah, I know you're thinking that your time won't come. You're crying in the pieces. Right, very, very nice. So you can play with that and get that really uh, amazing kind of intimate sound if that's what you're looking for or if you're looking for something more spacious, then of course you can go further into the uh, into the room in the back of the room and also try and play with the pre-delay to create some very interesting delays with the reverb so again let's uh, let's try that here on the on this uh, segment but you put back together every time before I know it's like your world is just caved in And every single prayer just wasted But baby, there is beauty in the making Pretty cool. Now let's go for the uh, back vocals here. So this is, uh, for example, this one. Let's listen. Pretty cool. Next, let's listen to some of the guitars. So we have electric guitar picking here, this one. And let's listen to this um, again with, without. Pretty cool. Again, we can uh, experiment with a lot of things. Let's try uh, some of the other instruments here. We have some keys here. Let's uh, let's try the keys. Um, we have just a simple line with the keys here, the main keys. Um, let's uh, hear how that sounds.
Right, so that was the SP2016 Reverb. I hope you uh, enjoy this one. And of course, if you have any questions or anything at all, just leave me comments below this video. I'll be happy to answer anything. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm uploading new stuff all the time and check out more videos uh, about the Clockworks bundle by Eventide. I'm uploading them um, in the next few uh, uh, days and weeks. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, by the time you're watching this, I already have a few of those uh, ready in the channel. And that's it. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much and bye-bye.